Hi guys, welcome to day two. I'm actually filming this intro after I already filmed all day. I'm just gonna say that my energy is super low in this video and it is not a very big talkative video just because I've been so tired all day today. Honestly, didn't really feel like feel like filming. Today I just did some like cardio, a little bit of some booty workout, and my diet was relatively the same, but you guys will see in the video. So we're gonna get to it. Short and sweet, but I guess everybody likes that now because no one has an attention span like longer than five minutes so perfect it is 7 10 so i'm about to do my workout i think what i'm gonna do today is i kind of want to do something like more glute focused so i'm gonna do something like super glute targeting because this is miami swim week and i haven't really been focusing that much on my butt just because i don't really care like genetically I will always carry some weight back there. I'm not really big on having like a giant butt anymore, but again, like always, these are just mat workouts, super simple. You just need a resistance band, ankle weights, some free weights if you have, but you don't have to have them. Honestly, it's up to you. So let's do this. When the music on make me feel so cool and like I have my whole life together <laughs> cute little gym fit today welcome to day four so this yeah it is day four yesterday I did not do anything it was a rest day so let me let me sit down for a second so I can talk to you guys so obviously you guys know this is already a combination of day three and day four there was a middle day in between I am the kind of person I notice that when I work out too much or I do something too intensely I was crying like always when I do something too intensely my body um, kind of swells up and starts to carry water weight and that's actually common for a lot of people I've seen a lot of girls on my TikTok be like oh my god I have the same issue I worked out Saturday and Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday so my body was like whoa so I took yesterday off did I do shit my body swelling has gone down quite a bit today we're back at it though the what was it day three which was like just the beginning half of this video for you I was in a horrible mood I barely got any sleep which is why I decided I was gonna combine these two videos together because it was just gonna be too short for day three um I barely got any sleep because I drank coffee at 6 p.m. and I couldn't fall asleep till 3 a.m. and I woke up I was so tired girl was just in her feels you know letting a dumb man upset me fuck that shit you know fuck it anyway so um I am tired today because last day I took the dog out dogs out at like 12 and then I'm walking downstairs and I come back and this girl's sitting there and I'm like hey do you need to get into the apartment because she looks like she's just sitting outside it's like one o'clock in the morning and I, I feel bad I'm like oh my god this is not safe so I'm like here here's my my key card you can get in and she's like Oh, no, actually, I'm stuck here. Like, I got stood up, um, and now my phone is dead, and I don't have a way to Uber home. I'm like, oh, my God. She's like, can you take my phone upstairs and charge it? I was like, okay, sure. So, I guess I seem super trustworthy because I'm never giving my phone to anyone. I don't give a fuck. I went upstairs to charge it, and I have a fast charger, but for some reason, like, it wasn't charging, so I was sitting there for 20 minutes waiting for it to charge. It didn't work, so I brought it back downstairs to her, and I was like, hey, it's not charging, but I can like get you an uber so you can go home like i don't want you to be stuck here and she's like oh no is it okay like can i just sit in the, in the lobby with it and charge it and like try to figure something out i was like okay yeah sure so i waited like 30 minutes which means i was up till 2 a.m and then i went downstairs and she had just left the charger and then i could finally go to sleep so that was a very unnecessary story but i just needed to share it as to why i didn't get any sleep today but i feel much better today i am gonna have some coffee because I am very tired and I need some energy. But I did want to show you guys something. We just launched sweatbands on KY, which I'm super excited about. If you didn't know, my dad ships all of the KY orders. So he's like the most bossy employee I've ever had. This one is my sample, so it's a little. 
messed up, but I've been wearing it while I run. Girl, you sweat so much. This is a really great alternative, even if you don't like waist trainers. I'm gonna be wearing my waist trainer today. I'm finally down to three extra small. I'm only gonna wear it for three hours because I just wanna be safe with it and not push myself too much. During my workouts, I'm gonna wear this. If you are someone that doesn't like waist training and you still wanna kind of contour your waist a little bit, this is not gonna do it anywhere near. It's gonna do like 10% of what a waist trainer is gonna do. But if you carry a lot of water weight and kind of wanna reduce bloating, which can lead to an increased midriff, um, this is great. You can wear it all day long, super safe. You can sleep in it, you can shower in it, because you guys never want to take your waist trainers off. So here, here's something you can never take off. You can wear it 24-7 if you want. The link will be in the description down below, but right now it's like 10 o'clock. I'm getting a super late start, but again, I was tired, so we're going to have a good day today. running errands had this three extra small on for like the last three hours and it's coming off I just can't plus I'm about to eat and I don't like to eat with waist trainers on I actually don't advise it because it can kind of fuck up your digestion don't do it but people do it anyway but don't do it I'm gonna cook lunch I think what I'm gonna have today is some turkey and asparagus okay it's 6.30. I'm about to go run right now. I also eat way too many Brussels sprouts. I feel sick as fuck right now. I'm pretty sure that Bethany Moda just bought a waist trainer for me. And if you guys don't know who Bethany Moda is, I feel like she was very 2013, 2015. Like, that was literally just my... She was my entire childhood. So that's a little crazy. So I was like, you know what, bitch? Go do your fucking workout. I have no idea where my headphones are. I feel like I have enough energy to run. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do Pilates tonight. So. I just got back from my run. Literally, I'm it's like all sweat. <laughs> that sweat fan works so great. My body is under so much stress right now because I normally don't work out back to back like this. I usually only work out three times a week, which is fine. It works for me. When I was weight training all the time, I would always be like super inflated, I guess. And then when I would stop working out, I would just trim down so much. Like I would go a week and I'd be like, why the fuck am I skinnier now that I'm not working out? And it's just when your body is under a lot of stress, it retains water like I told you guys earlier. So I'm doing all this week, like, hi, Opsie, you came to say hello? Um, all this week I'm like working out a bunch and then next week I will not be doing any workouts. Like, and next week is officially Miami swim week. So I will be in Miami Monday and Friday. My period is supposed to land around that time and I will fucking scream if I have my period during Miami swim week because I get so bloated, but feet hurt so bad. Oh my god, my abs hurt, everything hurts, like I'm in pain, y'all. Like this is where I told you guys this is not a routine that I recommend because my body hurts. Like I have been going hard. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to like a 30 minute break and then I'm gonna do a